Good morning, everyone. I know it's been a long while since I've done this, but um, in my last life, I won. I said that um, I wanted to get back into doing this. Um, I just have been struggling with um, really just getting back into doing things with YouTube, but anywho, um, I want to start out my video with putting the armor of God on because that's something you should do every morning, and that is in uh, Ephesians 10 through 17, so let's get going on that. Finally, be strong in the Lord. And in his mighty power, put on the full armor of God, so that you can take a stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to take your, your stand or you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist and the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness uh, oh sorry I lost my place that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take the shield of faith, which can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is God's word. And we will stop there. Because, believe it or not, we uh, are surrounded by a spiritual world. And once we are saved, we follow Jesus, there is a whole spiritual world fighting for us. So, alright, so we are going to do a scripture for today. And um, let's see. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to my Father except through me. Very popular scripture. John 14, 6. Let's see what the back says. You desperately need a Savior, but you have one. You cannot do it alone. You are, but you do not have to. You have all the strength you need in the Lord. All right, and now let's do our prayer. <laughs> I believe that you are in control of my life. Help me to put this belief in action. To trust you and or with the outcome and believe you will use my good and your glory. Amen. Let's see what the back says. 
We never know how much faith we have until it is tested and given room to grow. Absolutely. So, with all that being said, I hope that this helps you today. Um, I hope it brings you encouragement and that you receive this in your heart. And I really do hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Um, I hope the weather is great for you and you can get out there and do the things you need to do. And know that I do love you. And you are never alone. Not in, in Christ. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I will see you hopefully tomorrow and like I said it might take me a little while to get back into um, the groove of things uh, but I do want to get back into it so I love you guys and I will see you guys around.